morning and welcome in. Trucker Rudy here. I am in uh, Minot, North Dakota today. I will be uh, going across the border today at uh, Portal, North Portal there, into Saskatchewan and I'll make it down to uh, Madison Hat, Alberta tonight. I sure, uh, sure hope so. If nothing goes wrong, I should be there. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, this load that I got right now is a in-transit load as they call it. What it basically means is uh, it is a load that goes from Canada to Canada, but it goes through the US. So what we have to do is we have to stop at customs and the US side and cancel the inbound and then we can proceed to the Canadian border. So it's a little bit extra work for me, but uh, hey, that's life. As a trucker, we have to do that, so as a Canadian at least. But uh, up here in Minot, North Dakota today, it's like minus degrees Celsius today, this morning. I can't believe it. It's not even the end of August and it's already like minus, not minus, uh, it's 9 degrees already, you know. That's just brutal, brutal you know, like, jeez, summer just barely started, you know. And normally it only starts getting cooler at the end of September, October, but not already in August you know but hey no oh, well I guess we can't control the weather but uh, anyways uh, I know for you guys that watched the video yesterday it was a it was a sad day for me yesterday but today it seems to be a little bit better anyways but uh, I just figured it would be appropriate to share since I'm sharing uh, all the rest of my life here uh, why not share where I came from and stuff like that I was uh, I was born in Bolivia, and when I was about four months old, my uh, my parents moved to uh, Paraguay, and that's where I stayed till uh, they till I was ten years uh, old, and then the parents decided to move back to Bolivia, and I came back. Uh, we moved back to Paraguay when I was fourteen again. So, you know, I've been all over the world. So, <laughs> I pretty much grew up in Paraguay, but I was born in Bolivia. So, I little lived a little bit in Bolivia and most of my family members are in Bolivia so and but anyways then I got married there uh, in Paraguay to my beautiful wife and then uh, uh, in 2001 we moved to Canada and uh, I didn't I didn't speak any English at the time so and uh, plus I didn't have a lot of money I I uh, moved down here to Canada with 300 dollars you know and that's all I had in my pocket and my clothes and that's it and look where I'm at today I own my own truck I have a house I I uh, have a nice van you know brand new van I mean it's not new anymore but bought it brand new in 2009 you know but anyways that's a little bit of my uh, history so I figured I'd share that with you since uh, since you guys are probably curious on what the accent is that I have I I am low German. I went to a high German school, and uh, and since I was in Bolivia and in Paraguay, I also do speak a little bit of Spanish. So you know, uh, but anyways, we'll get the day rolling here. I'm all ready to go, so uh, we'll see what happens today. Have a look at this truck right here. He's passing me. He's not supposed to pass me. There's an oncoming vehicle right there. I don't know what he's going to do. No, he's honking the horn at me. Look at that oncoming vehicle. has to go to the other side. That's just something, eh? Oh, man. And he didn't even break off hard enough to let the other guy come back in the lane, you know? Got it all on video. Alrighty, just uh, walked over to this green uh, little building here on the left and uh, he uh, canceled my inbound there for my in-transit load up here. But I just wanted to mention this is the exact same spot here at the duty free over here where uh, me and trucker Josh met, uh, I believe it was on June 22nd of this year. So not the first time that we met but uh, just where we did a, a little bit of a YouTube video clip. So. Just figured I'd share that with you guys, but anyways, so I'm getting to the booth here, so we'll uh, see you on the other side. Alright, 
We are in Saskatchewan. North Portal, Saskatchewan right now. Just cross the border. Keep right on 39. And uh, Canadian Customs was a little picky today. They didn't want to stamp my paperwork today for my in transit. Well, I guess it's a Canadian load, but they're still supposed to stamp it. But dispatch said it's fine. I called them and said it's no big deal. They do. They've done that to me before. And I drive just, 38 kilometers on 39. Ah, uh, just picky to, today, I guess. And one of those guys that just don't want to stamp it, I guess. So, but whatever. We'll put the hammer down and get over to Madison Hat, Alberta. Hopefully I get me a reload there pretty quick and I told dispatch I want to go home. I need to get my safety done on the truck so that's almost at the end of the month here so especially by the time you watch this it's going to be September already so but anyways uh, we'll get the, uh, we'll get uh, rolling here and uh, we'll see you whenever I have something uh, more interesting to, to see or uh, whatever but anyways i uh, i just thought of it the guy that was going to pass me up there earlier i mean <laughs> how stupid can you be you know try and pass me on a, on a blind side curve like that you know like i don't know what it is with these guys up here in this area they done it to me like almost a month ago when i have one of those videos uh, that was uh, in saskatchewan already this guy up there that was uh, that was still in North Dakota and he tried to do that, you know? Like, and then he honks the horn at me like like I did something wrong. Like, I absolutely didn't do anything wrong. I'm cruising at 60 mile an hour. I didn't speed up or nothing. And I figured if he wants to be that stupid, then I'm not going to slow down for him just so he can get back into my lane. And uh, what you probably didn't see on the camera is because uh, I don't have rear facing cameras, is. Uh, he, he didn't even slam on his brakes and then get back into the lane. He uh, he just stayed beside me there for a little while and completely forced that car to drive on the shoulder. Otherwise, it would have been a head-on collision. But uh, yeah, and then then he uh, and then he didn't even pass me after that. Then he decided after that car had passed by him there or, or met him there, then then he decided to get back into the lane and then he drove nicely behind me. But. You know, that just goes to show you what some stupid people or, or whatever will do just to try and pass you, you know, like, you know, that's, that's really dangerous, so, but anyways, that's enough of that, so, uh, all I'm going to say is, if you do something stupid like that, if you're trying to pass me like that, well, guess what, it's going to be on YouTube, and uh, your company might see that video, so, you might want to drive careful. dropping my trailer up here in uh, Madison Hat, Alberta and uh, didn't get a load out today but uh, that's okay I didn't have that many hours left anyways so I'm uh, just gonna go bobtail over the truck stop it's only about yeah four miles I think over to the Husky I'm gonna go to the Husky they uh, have internet down there at the Husky now so Trying to pass this on the right hand side. Hey, let's turn that radio off. We'll go down to the Husky and probably go take a shower and go get me something, uh, probably cook me something in the truck here since I got lots of time now. It's only like quarter to seven right now, so uh, lots of time since I don't have a reload for tomorrow. Then uh, I guess I can cook me a meal and I can stay up later, so. I have to get up early and get going, you know. Alrighty, I'm going to do something different here today. And what that is, is I'm going to cook me a meal. And I'm going to show you how we cook it Paraguayan style. So here's what we got. We got some uh, frozen beef. We got onion. We got some green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers. 
and we got some uh, tomato sauce some uh, you know uh, garden pepper whatever got seasonal salt on here we got some water and we got Nutella and I got some bread in the bridge and the fridge so uh, we'll get this show rolling I got my cooking stove down here not all good you can see it but uh, yeah got my cooking pot down there and we'll get rolling Alrighty, just got my beef in here and uh, cut the onions up and uh, we'll get this uh, cooking here for a little bit and then uh, we'll get ourselves a nice meal. Just finished cooking it a little bit here and looks like it's ready to uh, put the green peppers and red peppers and stuff like that in there. Well, that's starting to look real good. We've got the uh, green peppers and red peppers and uh, everything in there, you know. Alrighty, just finished cooking that for a while, so we're going to uh, pour some water in here and uh, let that cook uh, and then once that cooks we'll put some uh, tomato sauce in here and then uh, put some noodles in here as well. So we'll be back. Alright, just finished putting the noodles in and uh, tomato sauce, so we'll let that cook for about 15 minutes and I should have me a good meal. Alrighty, just finished my meal here. That's looking pretty good to me at least. So uh, anyways, uh, stay tuned uh, for tomorrow. We'll have another show tomorrow. And thanks for watching.